Okay, so I'm coming quite close to the end of this restoration. Uh, not much to do now. I've mimicked the old shoulder straps. This one, that one. They're different. The left shoulder strap has a little um, crimp on. What do you call it? This strap has a little buckle type thing. Well, that's a buckle. This is a, who knows what it's called. I've just got to mimic this. And with that close for basically it being a functioning rucksack, and I will obviously go on and do more alterations and improvements and replacements of things I want to kind of replace. But we're almost there. And the, the last thing on, on this stage is to replace this, which in theory, which used to go round here and therefore and connect to the, to the strap here. And I've cut two bits of leather for the job. So I've fold this piece of leather like a letter. Put the buckle on. Uh, put it around the place where it goes and then use the rivets and it's there forever. So I better get it right. Now I'm going to fabricate this little strap here, which goes to this bit over here and this bit. I've made this bit to go onto this little buckle and um, it doesn't align properly with uh, the other one so it's going to be uneven on the back. The main problem is the fact that this buckle is actually slightly too large with the lever and so I think I'm going to have to get a different one. If I can find one I'll have to see but I'm probably going to remake this part because I've made these holes already, they will not fit correctly. So, I'm going to have to do it again. But that's the process of doing this, isn't it? Right here, back again from being away for a week, I had an exciting operation where they implanted lenses in my eyes so to correct my vision, which was incredibly poor, very myopic. In fact, it was so bad 
that I couldn't have laser eye surgery. So I've got this new modern thing called ICL, Vathic, uh, implant, whatever it's called. And uh, um, interesting surgery, awake, whilst they push a lens into your eyes. But now I see perfectly. So excellent. Right. In the meantime, I had to wait for an extra clip to replace this one, which is too big. I have to even out these straps because they're not correct and I have to adjust them. But we're going to get it done and very close to finishing, very close to finishing. So good stuff. So when I first tried to um, replicate the old strap with new, uh, the dimensions were not correct. They were correct to the old one, but with the new buck, the new sort of Jerry buckles and whatnot um, on there, it wasn't correct. I'm having to remake this. So I'm going to make this longer first than it needs to be, and then adjust it afterwards. So all I'm doing here is getting the right width use a ruler uh, with the 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 width inside this um this clip and then we should be able to figure out the right placement of the holes for the buckle here okay we're going to do that So I'm just going to weight this down a bit, the sack, uh, just to see how the straps lie on my shoulders. I'm expecting the straps to stretch a bit over time, although the I, I feel like I'm going to have to remake them in the future because I don't actually think they're going to fit properly, especially to my dimensions. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go anyhow. Really quite heavy. Well, not heavy, but for the I mean, that's quite good actually. The the question is balancing because with modern uh, rucksacks obviously the straps you can adjust to a point with these I'm putting holes in so if this is telltale maybe 
what am I doing? Uh, where is that tool? Where is that tool? Okay, this will do. My, my, my Swiss knife. I'm just trying to mark exactly where I think will be equi-balance on the body. I don't know how this is going to fare I have to test it out. I might have to remake all these straps with hindsight. Uh, so I'm going to test it out and I am, I'm going on a, a trek coming up in a month's time. So that would probably be the best time to trial it out to see how the weight distribution is. I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. Obviously with this type of buckle here against no buckle here there's going to be a difference in stretch I don't know how severe that's going to be and whether that's going to be a, an issue otherwise I'm quite happy and I've done it once so I can do it again it's almost done I just got to tail off these ends nicely um, with everything else I think in the future with all the little buckles on the pouches I'm going to replace because I have this, what I originally did, I had the lever this this thick and preferably I'd like a, a lighter lever on the back just to save a little bit of weight this thick. Um, so I'm going to have to do that at some point. But that's not important now, I can do that at a later date. Uh, just getting the bag finished is a, a milestone. So absolute joy and basically almost there 95 percent of the work is done everything else is superfluous everything else is a an addition on the top or adjustment or just whatever so really really happy with this task i've done i don't know how many hours i spent on it but a good uh, a good dozen 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 hours but what this means in the future I'm going to make my own bag. I'm going to make my own rucksack from scratch with canvas, with leather, with aluminium, an external frame sack, just like this. Just come see, see. Yeah, I'm very happy. Je suis très content avec ce truc, ce sac à dos. À prochaine.